Hey guys, hope you had a great weekend. We wanted to start off this Monday with a little special report for you. We've been getting tons of questions about what's happening with the Venture Hive building in downtown Fort Walton Beach down by the landing. So we've got city manager Michael Beatty from Fort Walton Beach on the show with us today and he's gonna give us the scoop. How, how are you? Doing good, doing good, how are you? Good, thanks for coming in today. Oh, yeah, not a problem. I've, I've been wanting to get on the show, so thanks for having me. Awesome, we're glad to have you. So, okay, give us the scoop. What's happening, do you know anything? Well, you know, the Venture Hive building by the landing has been uh, vacant since September of 2017. Uh, we've issued requests for proposals to get someone to come in there and, and, and revamp it and use it to complement the landing. But unfortunately, um, we never got any proposals that within the time frame that we, we requested. So as you may know, we've been trying to revamp the entire landing property, uh, which we're hoping to start early 2019. Um, part of the final design of that, we've decided to demolish that building, open up the park, it, uh, get rid of the bathrooms right there, do a great entrance uh, structure to open up the view corridors in the park, put bathrooms on both sides of the park to kind of uh, complement everything. Awesome. Well, I think that'll be great and utilize, you know, there's so many events down there and it'll just add to the space. That's cr that's correct. And, you know, with the band shell that we're going to put in, the new amphitheater type of feel, we can do, you know, better concerts, better events. And it'll, with the splash pad, we can host birthday parties, weddings, you name it. it it'll be a great addition. Very cool. So if somebody wants to host an event down there, once you guys get it completed, what, who do they need to contact? They just call our recreation department, Tiffany Corcoran, um, to, to reserve the park, just like they do right now. So nothing will change with that. It's just a matter of, we think it's gonna get more popular. So you'll probably have to start calling, you know, six months in advance. Very cool. Okay, so you guys are gonna start in early 2019. When do you think it'll actually be completed? You know, we're hoping by the end of 2019, all of the uh, park improvements will be complete. We're gonna start with the waterfront portion, replace the boardwalk, seawall, everything like that. And then hopefully do the stage at the same time. And then the second project will be all of the stuff upland, which will be demolishing the buildings, demolishing the bathrooms, putting in the new bathrooms and the new entrance structure and the splash pad. Very cool. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, so are we. It, awesome. It's been a long project. I think it's been about four years in the making. Wow. So. Okay, so are there going to be any renderings or any pictures that we can see? We are updating those right now. The, the decision to demolish the building was just made probably two, three weeks ago. And so our consultants are revising the plans and, and the renderings and we'll have those available hopefully in the next two to three weeks. Very cool. Awesome. Well, you heard it here first on Get the Coast. If you have any more questions or you want more information, head to getthecoast.com or check out the city's website at fwb.org.